welcome to another video. So let's continue our series on matrices and linear algebra. Um, we're going to compute the inverse of this matrix using elementary row operations. I know we talked in the past about using the um, generalized formula for computing inverses, but from what I've noticed, this is the most common strategy in computing um, the inverse of a matrix. So let's do it. And all you're doing is you will make an attempt to convert the identity matrix for a three by three into something else, which will end up being the inverse matrix. And you do that while you're trying to convert this into the identity matrix for the three by three. So you put them side by side, you work on this while you are simultaneously working on the identity matrix. So by the time you do everything to change this into the identity matrix, then you have the inverse matrix. Okay, now what is the problem with this method? There is zero problem, except you're more likely to make computational errors while you are subtracting or adding the rows together to get your zeros. So let's get into it. So the very first thing that you do is write both matrices this way. This is the identity matrix for a three by three, and this is the matrix you're trying to invert. So we're going to make this look like this, and eventually this is gonna look different. And whatever is on the right-hand side becomes the inverse matrix. Okay, so what can you do, and what is the best strategy? You wanna go the way of the row echelon form which means you want the very first number here to be one and everything under it to be zero. The very first number here to be one and whatever is here should be zero. This is a good zero, but we, we still have to muddle things up a bit. You want this also to be one and then we can take care of whatever is above. So what you wanna focus on is anything under this first thing here, you wanna make it a zero. Now, we have a very good matrix because the very first entry is a one. If it was not a one and the one was this one, your first move would be to switch it, okay? Instead of you starting to divide, just switch them and have a one on top and then it's easier to work with one because you can multiply and um, add or subtract easily. So, first move we're gonna make, I think I'm gonna write the instructions here. First move I'm gonna make is to get zeros under this first one. So I will say I am going to add minus two of row one. If I multiply this first row by minus two and then I add it to this, I'm gonna get a zero here. If I take minus of this and add it to this, I'm gonna get a zero here. Now don't focus on anything else, just focus on this because that's what saves you. So instructions. We're gonna say that the new row two is going to be minus two of row one added to row two. And then the new row three is going to be minus row one added to row three. That's what we're gonna do. So let's have the next matrix. This is gonna be, because we're not modifying the first row, always copy the first row. One, two, three. So the row you're not modifying, just copy, one, zero, zero. Okay, we're modifying the second row. It means you, you're guaranteed to get your zero here. Okay, so now let's finish this. Minus two times this is minus four. If you add minus four to five, you're gonna get one. Minus two times this is minus six. If you add it to three, you're gonna get minus three. We're gonna keep going, okay, minus one, times two is gonna be minus two. And minus two added to zero is minus two. Minus two times this is zero, added to this is one. Minus two times zero is zero, added to zero is zero. So we're done with that. Let's go to this one. This is gonna be minus row one plus row three. So it's gonna be minus one plus one, you get zero. We're gonna have minus two, sorry. We're gonna have minus two plus zero is gonna be minus two and we're gonna have minus three plus eight, it's gonna be five. 
Nice. We go here, we're going to have minus 1 plus 0 is minus 1, minus 0 plus 0 is 0, and minus 0 plus 1 is 1. So we're done with the first one. This is the first move you're going to make, and this is where we are. Next thing, we've attained zeros under this one, and nicely we have a 1 here. So we don't need to worry about this second one. It's a very easy example, but we need to create a zero here. That's the next zero mission. Okay, so how do we create a zero here? Well, add two of this to this, you're gonna get a zero. That's our next move, okay? Don't rush, don't double things. That's what I did. I made so many mistakes, got my answers wrong, failed so many um, quizzes and tests just because I was always trying to do too many things at the same time. When you get used to it, do it. But when you're still learning, don't try it at home. So we're going to say that row 3, the new row 3, because we want to make a 0 here, will be just 2 of row 2 added to row 3. 2 of this added to this, we're going to get an answer. So let's see what we get. So here, we're going to have... Because we're not changing this, and we're not changing this, let's copy everything in the first two rows. So, two of this plus this gives me zero. Two of this will be two minus two, that's zero. Two of this is minus six. If you add it to this, it would be minus one. Let's go. Two of this will be minus four. If I add it to this, it would be minus five. 2 of this will be 2, add it to 0, you get 2. And 2 of this will be 0, add it to 1, you get 1. Okay, so that's our new matrix. What can we do again? We need a 1 here, we don't need a 0. And this is easy to change minus 1 to 1, you just multiply by a minus 1. So we're going to multiply this, the new R3 is minus the old R3. Okay, let's write it down here. I'm trying to just go step by step. So what can we do? Now, nothing here should be anything. We want to get rid of these guys here, and we want to get rid of this also, but you shouldn't do it together. That's the mistake I always make, okay? So don't make those mistakes. Be smart. We're going to try to eliminate these, okay? What do I do? I'm going to add three of this to this, and I'm going to subtract three of this from this. So I'm modifying row three. So I'm going to say row three is the is the old row 3, okay, it's going to be 3 of row 3 added, sorry, this is row 2, added to row 2. I need to make space for the last few ones we're going to do. And then for this one, it's going to be 3 of this subtracted from this. So row 1 will be equal to 3 of old row 3 subtracted from this, so it's going to be minus 3 of this, so let's go here, minus 3 R3 plus R1. So this is going to be 3 of this added to this, that's going to give us 0. Which one are we not modifying? We're not modifying the bottom one, so let's just copy 0, 0, 1, 5, minus 2, minus 1. We need 3 of this added to this, it's going to be 0. 3 of this added to this is going to be 1. 3 of this added to this is going to be 0. 3 of this is 15, added to this is going to be 13. 3 of this is minus 6, added to this is going to be minus 5. 3 of this is minus 3, added to this is going to be minus 3. Okay, let's go here. It's going to be minus 3 of this, okay, minus 3 of this, added to this. So that's just 1. Minus 3 of this added to this is just 2. And minus 3 of this added to this is 0. Minus 3 of this is minus 15 added to this would be minus 14. Minus 3 of this is going to be 6 added to this you get it to be 6. And minus 3 of this is going to be 3. So that's what we have. The only thing remaining one more move is just to get rid of this guy here. And we can do that by doing minus 2 of this, add it to this, and then we're done with the answer. So this is the only line that needs to be modified. So this row, row 1, will, row one will be equal to um, minus 2 of the old 
row two added to row one. Okay, let's see how that turns out. Nice. So as you can see, we're not modifying the bottom two rows, so I'm just gonna copy the bottom two rows, minus one. Okay, so let's deal with this. Minus two row two plus row one, that still gives us one. Minus two row two, that gives us zero. Minus, two, this is still zero, so let's go here. Minus two of this is gonna be minus 26 minus 14, that's minus 40. And minus two of this would be 10 plus six, that's gonna be 16. And minus two of this is gonna be six plus three, that's gonna be nine. Okay, so you see we have generated the identity matrix for a three by three on the left hand side. Automatically, if all your work is correct, this is the inverse of this matrix. So you can say that this is the desired inverse that we wrote this way. Now this has a bunch of integers, okay? Most of the time, they're fractions. You have to be ready to deal with fractions. See you in the next video. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning have stopped living. Bye-bye.